are you ready to dive into some Lyodin riches? Welcome to your future as a beetle tycoon. Today we're going to talk about how to make lots and lots of silver beetles. Joanna Rocha was the most recent viewer to request this video. Since it's a common ask, I was more than happy to explore this topic. Let's get into it. Probably the first method that rightfully comes to mind is selling things to monkey business or other players. While exploring, patrolling, or hunting, members of your den are going to bring you dead stuff. I mean, they are just big cats. It's easy to prioritize feeding all of your den to full before selling surplus, but I urge you to consider how often you need to feed your den. Every day, I feed my citizens who have above 20% hunger and sell all extra carcasses. I know I'll hunt and find more food tomorrow to sustain those who go over 20% hunger. The same concept applies to toys. If the line is above 80% happiness, they don't need to be played with. To capitalize on expensive carcasses, I recommend hunting in the marshlands and water holes. These areas have buffaloes, hippos, and other large game. A single buffalo carcass goes for 22 silver beetles at monkey business. Its drop rate is common. Imagine getting five of these a day. That's already over 100 silver beetles. Now, selling carcasses and skulls at monkey business will bring you fortune, but those aren't the only items you can sell. Every month, Lyodin has a different event. February's Aphrodisia event included event-specific food, toys, and marking applicators. These items are still desirable after the event shop closes. If you stock up, you can sell them for high prices later. You can even sell them for gold beetles. This results from how hard it is to purchase lots of these items, but because they're expensive in the first place, I get if this isn't a feasible income strategy. I mean, it isn't for me. Past the realm of items, there are many more things we can sell. I'm talking about the lion market. Cubs, newly claimed lionesses, and others can go for a pretty penny in trades. This isn't something I'm personally well versed in, but it is a market that exists that I've been watching recently. Let's assume that every Lyodin user will at some point breed lions. This assumption will make lion selling a competitive market. Moving these guys and making a profit can be hard work. You need to figure out how much you need to sell a cub for to make feeding and nurturing them worth it. If the overhead is more expensive than the payout, or the amount of energy and effort generally unfulfilling, I recommend sending the lion to the nature reserve instead. Selling lions isn't for everyone, but if selling lions is for you or you're flirting with the idea, here are some tips. Number one, have a form thread for advertising up for sale lions and bump daily. This makes reaching your market so much easier. Make your sales easy to find and understand. Tip number two, consider selling in bulk. If they won't sell on their own, maybe they'll be easier to sell packaged with other lions. Tip number three, Find your niche. Interested buyers will remember sellers that have a consistent product. This is a good way to stand out against the competition. Maybe you're the only seller with a marking in a specific slot. Know your niche, own it, and advertise it. Now, kind of like selling lions, you can sell your alpha's stud services. Just like selling lions, you're going to want to advertise and understand your niche. Never underestimate the power of being present. People might not know about you until they see the thread advertising your alpha. If you want it to work, put some work into it. Time for some shameless self-promotion in this field. Bronx Meadow is nearing retirement. If you want this 1200 statted eight marking alpha to father some cubs, now's your chance. Send over a studying request for 200 silver beetles today. Almost as important as making beetles is not spending those beetles. Keeping them out of sight helps keep them out of mind. Shout out to user Palace who taught me about bundling. In the inventory, there's an option called bundles. This is essentially a bank. When you save up a certain amount of something, scroll it away into your bundle. I bundle in amounts of 1,000 silver beetles. You'll be amazed by how quickly you save so much. Or, instead of saving away silver beetles, you can trade those silver beetles for gold. Garen recommended a market trading process that includes selling silver beetles for gold beetles. Then, when the market supports it, selling those gold beetles for more silver beetles than you started with. The final beetle making method is the chance games. These include the slot machine, cups, whack a snake, and the silver beetle raffle. Since these rely on chance, I recommend them according According to your patience for uncertainty. Did I miss any big income methods? Let us all know in the comments. In the meantime, here are some clan updates. The Pet Summer Leiden clan is ever growing. As the membership grows, it's expected the administrative team will too. Before it can, we've got something to address. It's hard to read intention and tone over the internet. As a direct result of this, there's a concept called most respectful interpretation. It gives the benefit of the doubt to the speaker. I'm embarrassed to admit my guilt of accusing a past admin of maliciously taking an item from the clan horde. After speaking with this person, I learned that it was a mistake. If I would have just applied the concept of most respectful interpretation, I would have avoided calling this person out. Because of my role as a public figure, I feel important to publicly own my misstep. 
My visibility comes with a higher level of responsibility for my actions. I would like to apologize to that former admin and ask you, the community, to accept this apology and consider giving that person a second chance. It's so easy to be cruel. We need to try and be kind whenever possible. Also, in clan business, our first clan raffle is kicking off tonight. It will go until March 6th. Our raffle item is an adult sex changer. How is this relevant? Just around the river bend is a video about lion stat replacers. An adult sex changer item will factor into this. Do you know how? Tell me what you know about stat replacers in our clan forum for a chance to win this lovely prize lioness. She has over 300 stats and 6 markings. For an additional entry, subscribe and comment on this video with your Liaden username and ID number. Anyways, if you want to learn more about Liaden, feel free to see this guide for claiming a first lioness. Did you know that it's not supposed to be easy? The game mechanics that support this process indicate everything but it being simple for newbies. Check that out here. Or, my top 5 Liaden gameplay tips covers a broad expanse of features that will make the game easier and more enjoyable for you. What's not to love about that? Check it out here. Anyways, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more like it. Thanks! Bye!